Hello. <laughs> uh, my name is Jacob Hall, and I'm one of the student partners here at the studio for teaching and learning innovation. And today, I'm going to walk you through an app called Todoist. It's a to-do list app that helps you keep track of things that you have on your agenda for the week, for the month, and um, kind of helps you motivate yourself to get things done um, and sort of scaffold the projects that you're working on. I really like it. I actually just got started uh, using it this semester, and it's really been helpful for me to manage my homework and all of the other things that I have going on in my life. So I thought it would be fun to uh, sit down with you and talk about how to set up Todoist for the first time and give you some tips for how to use Todoist for an academic lifestyle. If you have some classes that you want to um, keep, keep on top of, I'm going to give you a few tips for how to run through the syllabus and put some of the assignments for classes into Todoist. So without further to do, I'm going to show you how to uh, make an account with Todoist. So right here, I have the Todoist homepage here, and we're going to just go ahead and sign up. Uh, so there's free accounts, which is what I use. It's got pretty much every feature that you would be looking for in a basic to-do list app. There is a pro version that I'm not going to talk about too much in this video, but we might follow up with that if there's any interest. So I'm going to go ahead and put my email in here. And we're going to sign up. I'm going to put my full name, and we're going to make a password. Um, I don't usually use the password 123, but we're going to do that right now just so that we don't forget. OK, and we're going to sign up. And you can pick our theme. I'm just going to go with that basic Todoist look with the red and white, although it is kind of fun in the apps. You can choose the different color schemes that you want to use. And it should drop us right into the Todoist app. So what's cool about this um, app here is that you can use it on your desktop as like a desktop application. You can use it on your phone. They have Android and iOS versions. And then you can also log in online. And they all get synced up. So we're going to start just on the website. And then I'll give you a quick overview of how to download the desktop or mobile versions if you so prefer. So um, it gets us started with a few keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to skip by those right now just because that's a little bit more advanced. Just show you the basics of how to add to-dos to the list, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the advanced features. All right, got it. So uh, right here, we are dropped into the home screen of Todoist, which is the Today view. So what that means is that the um, anything that is due today or maybe due before today uh, is dropped right here so you can see what what's most important, what to-dos are um, most, um, like, have the most importance today. So right now we don't have anything in our Todoist, so let's change that. Let's add a task and talk a little bit about what it means to add a to-do to this um, app here. So I just hit Add To-Do, and it gives us this little option to put in a name. I'm going to say Record Todoist Tutorial. That's what I'm doing right now. All right, and we can put a little description in there if we like. It's nice to sometimes I'll put in some notes about an assignment if I remember that I wanted to write an essay about a specific topic or something like that. If I have some ideas in my mind, it's easy to just throw them right here into this description box, and then I can come back to them later. They're all just saved for me. So for example, for this tutorial, I really wanted to talk about, um, let's see. So for example, for this tutorial, I really wanted to talk about um, some of the ways I wanted to um, show you how to put to do is in for a specific class. So I'm going to put in how to add syllabus assignments to Todoist. Hopefully I spelled that right. Excellent. Um, so now here at the bottom, we're going to see two little options. There's the Today button and the Inbox button. So I'm going to talk a little bit about those. If we click on today, we get to choose when the due date is for this assignment. This is awesome because some things I really need to get done today, and some things I can get done in a month or two, or maybe on a specific day when an assignment is due, um, and I don't really want to think about it. I don't want it to be like at the top of my list right now. 
So for example, this tutorial, I really want to get done tomorrow. I want to get all the editing done for it and everything like that. So I'm going to hit tomorrow. But you can see I can choose to do it this weekend or next week. And Todoist will save it and then remind me when it's due. So that's really nice. Um, so I'm going to hit tomorrow and you can see it updated there. And then um, we get to select a project. So I haven't talked too much about projects yet. And I'll show you in a minute how to uh, add a new project. Uh, but the idea is that these are organizational um, ways to keep your to-dos together of different themes. So for example, if I'm doing a bunch of tutorials for Steely, I might create a Steely project where I put all of those tutorials in there. Or uh, maybe a specific class could be its own project. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, for now, I'm going to just put it in the inbox. So this is unsorted. It's just a to-do that will get put into a project later. All right, and then over here on the right side, you guys want to like. Yeah. All right. So, um, those are the basics of adding a to do. We're just going to hit add task, and that's going to uh, drop right into our inbox. And you can see it's ready to add another task if we so want to. But I want to talk a little bit more about the navigation through Todoist, um, and then we can get back to some of the more advanced features of adding to dos. So, if we go back to the today view, um, there's, there's nothing here actually <laughs> because I put it for tomorrow. We'll edit that out. Um, so if I go back to the inbox, that top button here on the left side, you can see that the uh, to do is the to do. Oh my God! If I go back to the inbox here on the left side, you can see that the to do that I just made is now right there at the top, and it's due tomorrow. So it's not going to appear on the today view just yet. It's going to appear tomorrow, um, but that's ready to be sorted into a project, um, or it can just stay in our inbox as an unsorted to do. So let's talk a little bit about projects. Projects, I think, are the most important part of Todoist because it really allows for the organization that I personally can't really achieve with written to-dos in a notebook or like on a um, post-it note or something like that. So if we go down into our projects on the left side, you can see there's a couple of example projects here. I'm going to create a new project with this little plus button right here. So it asks us for a name. I'm going to say classes. So I'm thinking I'm going to put all of the classwork uh, for each of my classes this semester into this to-do project. And let's pick a fun color. I'm going to go with uh, grape. That's pretty exciting. And then um, there's two different styles for how you can separate the different um, sections of this project. You can use a list form or a board form. I'm going to go with board, and you'll see why in a minute. It kind of makes more sense for the classes. But it's nice to know that you can go with either option. And then we'll hit Add. And boom, it just drops us right into this new project. And we can add some sections. I'm going to throw in some classes that I'm taking right now. And then we can start adding to dos to those different sections. So the first off, I'm taking a hydrology class this semester, which has been great so far. What is hydrology? Hydrology is the study of uh, water and how it moves through and around Earth systems. It's been very exciting, uh, learning a lot about how it infiltrates and percolates down into the water table. Oh, it's great. OK, uh, the next section, I'm also taking a class uh, called Earth Structure and Dynamics. Uh, you can probably tell that I'm a geology major. And then um, I don't actually, uh, I'm not taking a uh, math class, but I thought it might be fun maybe next semester to take linear algebra. So I'll add that right here. You can see there's a couple of uh, formatting rules. I took out that ampersand that I put into that class name, but you can still pretty easily read it right there. So we now have a very basic board for this project. We've got the different classes lined up uh, in a horizontal way. Now we can add in the vertical direction some columns of tasks. So for example, in hydrology, I have a um, problem set. I have in OK, I'm going to start over. For example, in hydrology, I have a problem set due this coming Monday. So I'm going to add that right here. I'm going to say problem set. And then it's, it's the first problem set, so I'll add that there. Um, and then let's schedule that for uh, next week, for Monday. If I wanted to, I could, spick, uh, I could pick a specific day down here. But right now, I'm just going to put there. And you can see that on this side, it's already, it already knows that this is in classes slash hydrology. So it's already organized our to-do right into that class. If we were in the inbox or today view, we could specifically file it into that project if we so uh, desire. Then we can add that task. You can see it just pops right up there. 
I'm going to do one more just as a quick example, maybe in linear algebra. Um, I want to study for a test that's coming up um, in two weeks. So let's say uh, study for exam. I'm going to schedule this for uh, you know March 9th when that, uh, that test is coming up that Friday, I guess. Um, and this seems like a pretty high priority um, task right here, right? So I'm going to say it's priority one. It gives it that red color. So when the time comes to actually do this to do, it's going to show up as this uh, red colored to do on the list to really show that it is important. So now if I hit add task there, you can see it has that red line right there and it's sorted into the linear algebra um, section. Cool. So let's go over here and instead of going to the today view or the inbox view, let's look at the upcoming view. So this is going to be a list of all of the tasks that we have in our Todoist, but now they're just in uh, chronological order moving forward. So you can see I've got that to-do that we added right for tomorrow, the record Todoist tutorial. But now I can scroll down and I can see all of the tasks that are coming up in the future. So I've got that problem set due on Monday, and we've got to scroll all the way into March. We're going to find that uh, test that I want to uh, study for, for linear algebra. There it is right there. So this is a really nice way of sort of planning in the future and seeing what to-dos are coming up. This is working really well for me for my classes because I can have all of my assignments laid out in a chronological way and I can sort of see what's coming up without getting overwhelmed with them all being in my inbox. So anyways, I really hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you. Just a quick overview of how to use Todoist in an academic lifestyle. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. My email is jwhall at wm.edu. And thank you so much for watching.